Hello everyone and welcome back to another Let's Play of Spider-Man the Movie Game. Last time we had to save and help the Scorpion and honestly I was kind of bad at it. The cheats are starting to show through because I cheat a lot in games so <laughs> this is, well, we haven't cheated yet and I haven't that's the whole reason why I haven't put on the Alex Ross suit yet too guys so yeah let's get into this the board can't fire me. what I built this company. How dare they? for real <laughs> all right bro Sorry if I'm fidgeting. Shit. Alright, bro. That's probably not the best move. Oh, no. Bro, bro, you're convulsing. Or something. Bro just got super baked. <laughs> Shit, we're already here, guys. Oh! I have something really cool to bring up about the game. So, Harry is played by Josh Keaton, who is a Spider-Man voice actor. And he was originally going to voice Spider-Man in this if Tobey Maguire didn't do it, which originally he wasn't. So, all the voice lines are still in the game, but they're the Green Goblin lines. When you... Sorry if you hear background noise. When you hear the when you play as Green Goblin in the game, because you play as Harry as the Green Goblin. It's never easy, is it? Oh snap! Who are you? No, wait. Let me guess. The Emerald Elf? <laughs> me? I'm just a concerned citizen helping to clean up our fair city. Oh man! All right, here we go. So. Yeah, I just thought that was really cool that uh, Josh Keaton was going to be in the game, or was going to voice Spider-Man instead of, uh, instead of uh, Tobey Maguire. So that's, I thought, was really cool. But yeah. Are you alright? Yeah, thanks. You were great back then. Oh, wow, your face. You know. Oh, yeah. Thanks again. You kind of look like, oh, wow. I mean, she kind of looks like, uh, what's her name? Fucking Christian Dunce Cap. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm trying to conserve the most amount of web fluid. Um, I want to kind of give you my review or whatever on Spider-Man Homecoming, guys. I figured that'd be fun to talk about. So, um... Generally, I, I, I like Spider-Man Homecoming. Like, I don't think it's a horrible movie at all. Like, I, I actually really like the movie. But, um... I do think, like, I... I... Shut up. But yeah, I mean, like... So, I think my biggest problem is, is the direction. Like, the person direct... Sorry, uh, you know, like the person directing Spider, you know, t uh, Tom Holland. Because Tom Holland, I think, is a really great Spider-Man. He, uh... Come on, one more, Bryce. Alright, but yeah, so I, 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 I do like... So, Tom Holland is, I think, a really good Spider-Man, Peter Parker, honestly, like, all together. Um, it's just, I think he, he, it's only when he has a good director directing him, you know? 
But yeah, so I mean, that's what I mean. Like, I, I don't... I think John Watts is kind of not the best director in that regard. So, like, I think he wanted to make a, a John Hughes movie, which he did. He wanted to make his kind of weird mixture of Breakfast Club of everything, of his callback to 80s. But he was trying to mix it in with a Spider-Man movie, and I didn't like that. It was kind of weird. But... In his regard, he also did do a lot of homages to Spider-Man in it as well, which I... So he is a fan of Spider-Man, and I will give that to him. Like, I'm not I'm not taking that from him. I think maybe if he had a little bit more um, free reign with the character of Spider-Man that maybe, like, Sam Raimi had, I think he might have done a little bit more or it might have been a little bit better because like i feel like the russo brothers did a lot better with the character of freaking spider-man than tom you know spider-man tom holland as the character than john watts did and i think that's where it kind of falters you know if This mission's gonna be long. I'm glad I, I, I I'm glad I picked this one to talk about Spider-Man: Homecoming. But yeah, so other than that, like I, I, I don't think there's like I, and again, like I like Spider-Man: Homecoming. Like I think it's a pretty solid movie altogether. Like, cause like I love '80s '80s movies as well. So, uh, but yeah. So I mean, the other problem I have with it is kind of the tech suit that Tony gives him. And, like, I, I, I don't hate that they're trying to make Tony his, like, father figure, but, like, I I kind of wish he had an uncle... I kind of wish he had Uncle Ben, you know? But that's what they were trying to make. They are trying to make, like, an Uncle Ben-esque role for him. So, uh, I don't know. It, it, it works, but it doesn't. I don't know. I, the tech suit also, I mean, it, it, it makes it too easy, I feel, for Spider-Man. That's the whole thing is that, like... He's kind of poor, and, like, you know, the costume is legitly just supposed to be a costume to hide his face. And, you know, I mean, there's some... I mean, aerodynamics kind of work into the costume as well, but, you know... You, you, do you feel me on that? I'm, I'm also trying to jump onto this guy's glider while I'm talking about Spider-Man Homecoming, so... But other than that, like, I mean, the only other thing that, like, I felt kind of, like... I felt there was, like, not a lot of consequences... But, you know, once he loses the costume, the tech suit, it does kind of, like, it's like, oh, wait, there's the consequences, there's all this stuff. So it's like, maybe that's what I'm supposed to be feeling from the movie, but th those were, I guess those are, like, I guess, like, my cons, if you, if you want to talk about that, because we're going to be, we're going to be fighting Green Goblin for a hot minute, and I am trying to jump onto his glider. A lot of the things I like, I I do like um, Tom Holland again is is great as Spider Man. He is great. Ned Leeds I think is funny, honestly. Like uh, uh and also Mary Jane M J. Uh, what's her name? Michelle Jones. Uh, very very good. Like the whole cast, great. Uh, I do like. Um, actually another thing I don't like is the Flash character. It's more realistic to what a bully would be like now, but I do kind of prefer the lumbering uh, jock, you know, football jock, basketball jock, whatever you want to call him. But uh, I thought the, you know, the editing of the movie is pretty solid too. Um, the score, at least for the most part, was pretty solid. Uh, I had nothing to complain about it. It didn't, I guess, stand out either. So, which is good. It, it, it fit the movie. I, my, I mean, I guess my favorite scene is the, you know, the one where he's stuck under the debris and he has to lift it up. That was great. I mean, I didn't mention it, but of course. <laughs> Did you see him just like fucking float down there, guys? Uh, I didn't say it, but Michael Keaton as the vulture is fucking amazing. So, yeah. Golly. 
He kind of did that to himself, though. Yeah, dude, he's a he's a maniac, though. Oh shit, he he planned that. But yeah, uh, I thought honestly the twist that uh, Liz Allen was Michael Ke Michael Keaton was Liz Allen's dad was like crazy as hell. So, god damn it, dude, he is fucking trouncing me. But yeah, I mean. I, I don't know what else do I like I did like him trying to uh, when they went to Washington DC it was kind of cool to see him actually go out of New York for a change again so that 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 was also cool I had to say um I, I do like his clothes honestly in the movie like uh, Tom Holland's like it the fact that he kept losing his backpack too was kind of funny yes Oh my god, that was that was a little tough, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I. How do you do it? How do you jump on there, guys? I gotta know. Yes. Oh, I got it. I got it. There we are. Get out of there. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ah, oh, screw you. That's what I wanted to do, guys. All right. I'm sorry. I got real focused and wanted to do that. So yeah, I guess since this mission's gonna be ending, uh, to give you my, I guess, like, final rating of, uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, I guess I would give it a, um, 7.5, 7, you know? Yes, got him! But yeah, so that is my, re I guess, my unofficial review of Spider-Man Homecoming, guys. Shit. All right, bro. Throughout downtown, our bombs have planted filled with a deadly gas. When they go off, well... Remember the bomb missions I was talking about? These suck. You might be able to stop them, or you can try to stop me. The choice is yours, hero. <sighs> uh, I can't let him get away. But if I don't stop those devices, the results could be catastrophic. Absolutely, Spidey. I'll have to deal with the Green Menace later. I can't let those bombs go off. You're doing the right thing. Alright guys, I'm gonna call it there. What'd you guys think of this in the comments down below? And if you want any of your comments read out on any of the Let's Plays, leave your questions down there as well. And remember to leave a like on the video. And remember to hit that subscribe button, because the subscribe button's gonna be waiting for everyone. Deuces, y'all.